there is a house more haunted than that of Amityville. The Haunting at 966 Lindley Street, Bridgeport, Connecticut. It was in November 1974 that the police, firefighters, and other personnel, including paranormal investigators, Ed and Lorraine Warren, were called to this address where there were reports of poltergeist activity, refrigerators, chairs floating, TVs being tipped over, all connected to one girl. There are stories of chairs, furniture moving, crucifixes flying off the walls, and knives being thrown about were all reported by the likes of firefighters and law enforcement. And such, it seems, that the house in Bridgeport, Connecticut, is a little more intricate of a story than just some average kook telling tall tales. The issues began in 1968 when Gerard and Laura Gooden were living in the house and adopted their daughter, Marcia. It was during this time period that the Gooden family insisted they could hear pounding noises from the inside of the walls of the house. Doors would slam shut on their own and items would shift all by themselves, being thrown across the room. There were even reports that a cat that they had was talking. By 1974, the events have transpired out of control to the point where the media was getting involved. The house was drawing attention, not only from the press, but paranormal investigators Ed and Lorraine Warren, who were the founders of the American Society for Paranormal Research, were called in. The Gooden family were interviewed not only by the Warrens, but by the police who were patrolling the area 24 hours a day. The police, as well as firemen, were testifying that things in the house were moving on their own. It was enough that the public civilians who lived in the area got news of the paranormal events that poltergeists were destroying the house. Before you know it, all hell broke loose. People started to congregate around the house. There was even an attempt by a person to burn the house down to the ground. Police were called in to push the crowd back. Apparently, this is even when the entity which reportedly haunted the house showed itself as described by author Bill Hall, who wrote The World's Most Haunted House, which includes details about eyewitness reports. He said the entity resembled a large, cohesive assemblage of smoky, yellowish, white, gauzy mist. Aside from this, reports continue to get even more crazier with claims that even the family cat named Sam would begin to talk. It was speaking and saying strange phrases like jingle bells and even more creepier, bye-bye. Things were definitely spiraling out of control. As taken from the website, Damned Connecticut, there was a story regarding the house. In the comments section, one man named Nelson P. said he worked at the city hall in 1974 when these events at Lindley Street took place. He was reportedly able to see records of the incident 
at the Bridgeport Police Department. This is what he stated. I quote, We gained a copy of a written report by a police officer who was present when the paranormal shit hit the fan on Lindley Street. The most chilling account was when in his writing that the cat spoke to the officer and the cat said, how is your brother Bill doing? And the officer looked down at the cat and replied, my brother's dead. The cat then scowled and said, I know, swearing repeatedly at the officer. Then the cat ran off. Other visual events in the report include a levitating refrigerator and an armchair that flipped over and could not be lifted back into place by the police officers. One officer who witnessed it all took an immediate leave of absence. It must be said, however, that most of these events seem to be the result of a clever hoax, according to some. Apparently, one of the patrolling police officers at one point noticed the Gooden's adopted daughter, Marsha, attempted to tip over a television set with her foot. When she was caught in the act, she was questioned by the police, and she admitted to the police to being the cause for all the paranormal events within the house. But that does not explain levitating refrigerators, furniture and crucifixes being thrown across the room. How could Marsha do that? Nevertheless, the witness reports from the likes of law enforcement officers and trusted individuals make for a very interesting counter argument. Many claim to have seen things when Marsha wasn't even in the house. In fact, claims continue to be made even after Marsha admitted to pulling the supposed paranormal hoax. And although the house still stands today, it seems to most mostly be disregarded due to Marsha's confession. Marsha apparently died at the age of 51 in 2015. And although she's no longer with us, many, including author Bill Hall and the witnesses he's interviewed, tend to believe that there is still something supernatural going on in Bridgeport, Connecticut at 966 Lindley Street. Now, Trulia, which is a rental company, has the property listed at 966 Lindley Street at $185,900. Now, what's interesting is that on their website, in their description of the home, it says this property is not currently for sale or for rent on Trulia. And you'll notice on the screen, it says to the left, upper left, off market. The description and property data below may have been provided by a third party, the homeowner, or the public records there in Bridgeport, Connecticut. It is listed as a single family home in the St. Vincent's neighborhood in Bridgeport. The property has two bedrooms, one bathroom, and approximately 738 square feet of floor space. This property has a lot size of 2,613 square feet and was built in 1923. So the question is, why hasn't anybody purchased this property? Why is it still vacant? Who was the last person to even live there? And why did Trulia pull it off the market without a buyer? Is it because of what happened in November of 1974? There are still many questions that need to be answered. What really happened that night in that house in November of 1974? Was Marsha 
the adopted daughter really responsible for the activity in the home? She was young at the time and caught up in hysteria. And yes, she was caught trying to tip over a TV with her foot. But how could that explain the other phenomenon going on in the house? How could she be responsible for the activity witnessed by the police themselves? The chief of police in Bridgeport, Connecticut said it was all a hoax and his officers got caught up in the hype as well. Was this an attempt by the chief of police to sweep this under the rug? The Warrens called out the chief of police and said he should apologize and restore the credibility of his officers who swore in a police report that what they saw was paranormal. What they saw was supernatural and they swore to that in their report to the point of one of those officers taking a leave of absence and made a statement that he would not return back to that place. We are looking in the backyard and driveway at 966 Lindley Street. Many ghost hunters have walked the property hoping to get a glimpse of something. Will they even allow paranormal investigators into the house on the property? The house is vacant without a buyer, possibly due to the reputation it has as being the most haunted place in the United States, rivaling that of the Amityville House in New York. Unless the town of Bridgeport, the realty company, or the former homeowners allow paranormal investigators to go into the vacant home, we will never know if something still lurks at 966 Lindley Street in Bridgeport, Connecticut. It would be interesting to make a phone call to somebody connected to that house in Bridgeport to see if there is a possibility of entering into the home to see if something still lurks within the house. There were over 100 witnesses on that night in November of 1974. Those witnesses will testify, including those police officers, those firefighters, that the house at 966 Lindley Street was indeed haunted. When you have an opportunity, please visit our website, www.ripsociety.net. That is www.rip. S-O-C-I-E-T-Y dot net. You can also find us on Facebook, Paranormal Adventures, where we list all of our investigations. And when you have an opportunity, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching.